I am Michelle McPherson, and this is The Michelle McPherson Show, the only internet marketing podcast dedicated to answering your burning business questions. Find us and submit your own questions at fromideatoempire.com. And now for today's episode. Hey folks, Michelle McPherson here with another episode of The Michelle McPherson Show. I've got a question for you today. Have you pulled any all-nighters lately? Because the name of the entrepreneurial game is to hustle, right? Sleep is for the week and all that kind of good stuff. So it isn't uncommon for the forum jockeys, the Facebook addicts, the blowhards to brag about that kind of never say die work ethic. And it isn't uncommon to think that that is the way that we should all be working. That is that we should be on the grind 24-7. And it isn't that hard to do when your business is new and it's shiny and it's full of possibilities and you're still interested in it, you're excited and it's totally natural to want to immerse yourself and absorb as much as possible as quickly as you can in that new exciting thing. That's how I tackle new projects and new interests. I will completely bury myself in a topic for days or weeks. I will almost ignore everything else in my life until I've mastered that new topic or interest. And I think that that's pretty common and there's nothing wrong with that. But there is something wrong with still being on that grind six months later or a year later or five years later. Why would you become your own boss if you're just going to work yourself to death? That kind of work, that 12 hours, 16 hours a day thing, it's just not sustainable. So there's the heart attack that you'll get from all the stress. There's having a low sex drive and weight gain from not getting enough sleep. And then there's how the quality of your relationships with your family, your friends, your kids are all going to suffer until you're all alone and the neighborhood kids start calling you Mr. Burns not creepy, but it's easy to ignore the potential health threats that can come in the distant future. That's why smokers keep smoking, and that's why work addicts continue to work those 12, 16-hour days. But the more insidious, the more frightening effect that I'm seeing with this kind of overtime worship, particularly among the entrepreneurial crowd, we don't see a lot of overtime worship among the uh, hourly working crowd. Um, but it's it's fooling yourself into thinking that you're accomplishing something just by putting in those long hours. But hours alone don't make a profit. So just doing more and more work doesn't mean that you're making more and more meaningful strides in your business. So the ugly underside of all of this, if you've been working at something for 12 hours a day for months on end, and you're not done yet, or you haven't made a substantial profit yet, then you are doing it wrong. Long hours and caffeine-fueled nights are more often symptoms of failure than they are of success. Now, short bouts of intense work, like you're preparing for a big event, like you've got a new product release or you're redesigning your site, that's fine. It's not what I've got a problem with. It's not what we're talking about here. What we're talking about is the false belief that you're not seeing success because you're not working hard enough, with the inverse then being that you would see success if only you put in more hours. It's the whole definition of insanity thing, doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. That's the definition of insanity. And it the same thing applies to your business. If you're continuing to do the same thing over and over again, you feel like you're putting in a lot of hours, you feel like you're making progress, but you're not seeing that in terms of traffic to your site or profits, then you are operating on that insane um, continuum. But more hours, like we said, is not enough. You have to put in the right kinds of hours. It's the whole work smarter, not harder thing. So what's super painful isn't as much failure as much as it is laboring over the same inefficient or ineffective means of growing a business for months and months and years and years and thinking that the work that you're doing is hustling when it's more like digital fappery. Working too hard is also a dangerous signal that you are your business. Without you and your daily input, the business will crumble. That makes you not much of a business builder if that is the case in your business. If it needs you every single day to function, you have not done your job of building an independent business. It can also be working too much, can also be a sign that your external outside of work life sucks. If you're the boss, so you're the guy making all the decisions and you're choosing to spend all of your time away from your non-business life, in other words, away from your personal life, 
that can be a sign of escapism. You're trying to get away from something like uh, crying children or other sorts of problems that could be going on. Um, that's not good. You've got to figure out why that might be happening. But most often, working too hard for too long is a sign that you just don't know how to work less. You don't know how to extract yourself from your business. You don't know how to put in less hours. You feel like maybe uh, you don't have the money to outsource or you've tried to do those kinds of things and you just aren't getting the results that you want. So you feel like you are the only one that can be doing the things that need to be done to keep the business moving forward. And so that's what the next episode is going to be about, how you can work less and uh, do that whole work smarter, not harder, stop being insane and expecting different results from doing the same thing over and over again. If you have an individual question for the show, head on over to michellemcpherson.com, ask away, and I might use it in a future episode. But again, our next episode will be specifically how to work less. So look for it. All right. Talk soon. Bye-bye.